The video you are about to watch is based on the city of Port-au-Prince, which is situated within the country of Haiti. With regards to natural disasters, deforestation and waste management, the aim of this video is to depict some of the environmental issues the city of Port-au-Prince is subjected to. The city of Port-au-Prince is a capital city that is located within the country of Haiti. Haiti is a country that is known for its beautiful landscapes, forests and even cities. However, Haiti is the poorest country situated within the Caribbean region. The city of Port-au-Prince is overpopulated and lives below the poverty line. But most of the impact the city faces comes from its natural disasters such as earthquakes, cyclones and floods which has a negative impact on the city as well as its economy. The city is further affected by deforestation and waste management problems. Earthquakes are one of the most devastating natural disasters that the city is subjected to. On the 12th of January 2010, Haiti was struck by a 7.0 magnitude earthquake and according to official United Nations, it was estimated that the earthquake killed 222,570 people, 300,000 were injured, and 10,000 were left homeless. This catastrophic event caused severe damage to the capital city where many lifeline buildings such as churches, schools, hospitals and homes were destroyed. The severe destruction has led to people vacating and moving out of the cities into the open. Since majority of their homes were destroyed by this catastrophic event, Haiti is also affected by cyclones and hurricanes which has heavy impacts on the city as well as the environment. It causes intensive rainfall which eventually leads to increased flooding within rural areas as well as the city. In addition to the severe damage in the city of Port-au-Prince, several cities and villages were heavily impacted and resulted in the extensive death of people and destruction of the city. When flooding occurs, many people living in Port-au-Prince homes become flooded and are also destroyed in the process. This affects people negatively because they become homeless when their homes are destroyed and they have nowhere to go. In Haiti, Hurricane Sandy damaged and destroyed more than 27,000 houses and in Port-au-Prince, post-storm assessments indicated that 90,000 hectares of crops were lost and destroyed by Hurricane Isaac. Flooding associated with Hurricane Sandy resulted in the death of 54 people and destroyed tens of thousands of homes. Both hurricanes and earthquakes have also contributed to environmental degradation in terms of deforestation. By creating floods, hurricanes has contributed to the impact of deforestation by stripping 98% of the hillsides bare from the forest. Earthquakes have also played a major role in deforestation since forests are vulnerable to the seismic activity which rips trees out of their soil. However, deforestation is not just caused by natural disasters, but by human activity as well. However, the picture being displayed here does not occur within the city of Port-au-Prince and is an example of what could happen within the city of Haiti. In Port-au-Prince, since oil is too expensive for the impoverished nation, it relies on energy that is created from charcoal of burnt trees.
which provides 85% of the country's energy. The people living in Port au Prince have relentlessly chopped down its forests in order to obtain energy, and by doing this, they have made themselves more vulnerable to cyclones and floods, since there are fewer trees to help withstand against these natural disasters. The clearing of forests for agricultural purposes has also led to deforestation, which has further led to soil erosion. Agriculture, however, is a main contributor of GDP in Port-au-Prince, so it is an essential part of the economy, but also has a negative impact on deforestation, since it leaves the environment eroded and leaves it in an infertile state so that people cannot use the land again or plant on this land again. The city of Port-au-Prince is progressively becoming overrun with mountains of waste because there is no way to put it. The trash and waste problem is an ongoing nightmare for people living within the city. This is because streets are filled with garbage and there is no place to dispose of the waste. The waste eventually ends up in rivers and sources of drinking water. This eventually results in the contamination of the water and causes people to fall ill or even die once they have consumed this contaminated water. When waste is dumped onto the roads, it causes drains to block, which later could lead to floods. This further allows diseases such as cholera to spread. Earthquakes have been seen as one of the biggest creators of solid waste within Haiti since it destroys cities, buildings, forests and causes the death of many people. The debris, rubble, human and animal bodies that are left behind has nowhere to be disposed of which further contributes to waste management problems. The dead and decaying bodies further also increases the spread and risk of contracting diseases. All of these natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods and cyclones have negative impacts on Haiti's economy as buildings, homes, schools and churches need to be rebuilt. This therefore has a negative impact because in order to rebuild the Haitian government needs to spend more money. Since it is a poor country, the economy is affected even more than other countries' economies. Deforestation that is caused by natural disasters further impacts on the economy because deforestation causes soil erosion and makes it impossible for agriculture to take place. All of these environmental issues together have an effect on both the city and its economy and as long as these problems are not solved they will continue to have a negative impact on the city of Port-au-Prince as well as its people and the environment.